So I know some of you guys might not like the method earlier. By the way, that's called the fixed point iteration method. That deserves its own video, okay? Here, let's talk about how we can solve an equation with an exponential part and then a linear part. Is it possible? Yes, of course. Otherwise, we wouldn't be making this video, right? Let's use the Lambert W function. Let me remind you guys what it is. First off, we need to have a fish. I call this the alpha fish. Why? Because this is alpha, this is my fish. All right, then we want to have the number e. Well, it's right over there, that e. And then we also want to have an exponent being the fish right here as well. So make sure that these two fish are the same, right? And once you have to set up, you can just go ahead and take that Lambert W function. And this is going to give you just the fish back. So that's the idea. Now, here's the deal. How can we make that happen? Though? Hmm. Well, of course, if you want to try it, go ahead and pause the video now and think about it. All right? Done? All right. This is how we can do it. First off, they are like subtracting. We want to have multiplication. And another name for the Lambert W function, it's called the product log. Here, let me show you. Let's go ahead and bring these two terms to the other side. So we get 2 to the x equals 3x plus 1. And then I'm just going to divide the 2 to the x on both sides. And we can look at that as multiplying everybody by 2 to the negative x. So that will give us 1. And you see here, we have 3x plus 1 times 2 to the negative x. And that's what I mean by the function part should be multiplying and the constant one will just work with it. So now, focus on this. Our goal is to perhaps get a fish the same, meaning this part and that part should be the same. So how can we make that happen? Well, if you take a look, here we have 3x plus 1. And then this is 2 to the negative x. Maybe you want to just raise both sides to the negative 3 power. Because negative x times negative 3, that will give us 3x. And that will match the 3x right here. But the problem is that if you raise this to a negative 3 power, you also have to have a negative 3. And then later on, when you have 2 and then 3x power, it's not possible. I don't know how to make this has like a negative 3. This right here, no, don't do it like that. So instead of trying to make this 3x, let's think about how we can make the 3x become negative x. And that's actually much easier because we can just look at this and divide by negative 3. Right? If you reduce this, we get negative x. All right? And of course, we have to do the same thing on the other side. So on the left hand side, we get negative 1 third. And on the right hand side, because this and that are multiplying, we can just reduce this part. So we get negative x minus 1 third. Okay? And then we still have 2 to the negative x. So now, the negative x match, that's pretty good. So this and that are almost identical, almost. Okay, we need to have a minus one third in the exponent. So what does that mean? Well, that means we are going to multiply by two to the negative one third so that we can combine the exponent. And of course, this means that we also have to multiply this right there as well. So we are going to get negative one over three this times that, I will just bring this down to the bottom, and the one third power is the cube root. And then we'll just write down the cube root of 2 right here. So that's that. And on the right hand side, yay, we get a negative x minus one third, and then here we have 2, and negative x minus one third. Yes, but almost. Why? Because we don't want to have the 2, we want to have the e right here. So how can we make that happen? Well, check this out. Here, we have the 2. All we have to do is just write it as e to the ln2 power. So right here, let's keep it negative 1 over 3 times the cube root of 2. And this is negative x minus 1 third. And we have e to the ln2 power. But the ln2 will be multiplying with this. Let's write this down first. We have parentheses negative x minus one third and then here is that ln2 perfect not really why because earlier this and that were the same but right now I just messed it up right but don't worry this is just a small fixed here we have this times ln2 
All we have to do is come here, multiply by ln2. In another word, multiply both sides by ln2. Not bad. So right here, let's go ahead, multiply both sides by ln2. So we are going to get the following. Here, we will have negative, let's write down ln2 on the top, over that cube root of 2 times 3. And then that will be equal to all that stuff, right? So let's just write this down. We have parentheses negative x minus 1 third times ln2. I'll put this in a parentheses as well. And then we have e to the negative x minus 1 third times ln2 power, like that. Yes, because now this and that are the same. So we have found our fish plus that we have the e. So excellent. Now it's time for the Lambert W function. Go ahead and take it here. Go ahead and take it here. Take the net, take the product log on both sides. So when we take that, we will just have the fish back. And let's write that down first. We will have negative x minus one third times ln2. And that's equal to that. What's this? Don't worry, just write it down for now. So we have the Lambert W function of negative ln2 over 3 times the cube root of 2. So as you can see, now we just have 1x right here. So we just have to isolate that. This is just a number, all right? So let me just divide ln2 on both sides. We get negative x minus 1 third equals 1 over ln2 times the Lambert W function of negative ln2 over 3 times the cube root of 2. And I'm just going to move the this number to the other side and divide everybody by negative x. So we see x is equal to one third. Yeah, bring that to the other side, but I had to divide it by negative, so it becomes negative one third. This was positive divided by negative, so that's minus, and then we have one over ln2. Lambert W function of ln2 over three times the cube root of two. Whew. Hey, we are done for that. Now let's go ahead and enter this on Wolf on Alpha. Hey, we get zero. Hey, by the way, zero is indeed a solution because two to zero is one, and then this is just zero, one minus one, zero. So zero works, fine. But what happened to, to the three point something answer? Don't worry. If you have seen my other videos on the Lambert W functions, or like similar crazy equations, you know. The Lambert W function has different branches. It's a multi-value function. Even when we are in the real world, it will still give you different results. For more details, you can check out my other video for it. Why? Why does this give you two answers? Let me tell you. Pay close attention to the input. If this is in between of negative 1 over e and 0, then we are going to have two answers. The idea is that we have different branches. Usually, we come here and write w with a subscript n. And if you just enter product log on the uh, Wolfram Alpha, you are going to get the principal branch. It's just like the first answer. And by default, that's n equals zero. When n is equal to zero, here we get x is equal to zero, like what we saw earlier. Indeed, it's a solution though. But now how do we get the other real solution? Well, on Wolfram Alpha, the way they do it is, you go to another branch by setting n equals negative one. All right, if you set n equals to negative 1, check that out. Yes, we do get that x is approximately 3.53767. Ha <laughs> ha! This right here is the answer for that equation.